I took ashwagandha for 30 days and here's exactly what happened. Hi, I'm Dr. LeGrant and I wanted to take ashwagandha for 30 days to see if it could actually make some benefits for my mental health, such as ADHD, anxiety, as well as my mood and energy because there's lots of benefits to ashwagandha. So I wanted to test it for myself. It's the only thing I decided to take for 30 days to see. Now, before I did anything, I did some testing. So let's jump over to looking at the testing because cortisol is one of the big key factors that ashwagandha helps lower. So let's see what my cortisol levels were. So you can see right here, I took my, did uh, four cortisol readings that you can see right here is I did them in the morning, noon, evening, and late evening. Now, if you see on this graph right here, is that my cortisol levels were low in the morning. They're okay in the afternoon, but were significantly low in the early evening and also even at night. Now, you might be asking, why would I be taking something like ashwagandha if it lowers cortisol? Well, I wanted to see if it does actually affect my cortisol levels. And this is an experiment. I wouldn't suggest anyone doing this. I wanna see if there's a negative effect of taking ashwagandha if you do have low cortisol levels. So let's see how that happened. So I decided to take 400 milligrams morning and night of ashwagandha. I thought that was a good amount that I should be taking for myself and the very first week I did notice that my stress was lower I felt more at peace and calm that very first week but by the second week things started to take a different turn on me I started to notice for the first time in a very long time I felt depressed and not motivated. It was really weird. I haven't felt like that for years. And having this overwhelming depressed feeling and just not motivated to do anything. I had days at work where I simply didn't want to go to work. Tell my wife, I'm like, I just, I'm not feeling it today. She like told me, you know, yeah, it's okay. But I thought it was just really weird for me to feel this. And I figured I'm like, maybe it's the ashwagandha. But I still decided to continue on with it because I want to do it for a full 30 days to see the big effect. Now, I don't recommend everybody else to do this, but I was experimenting on myself. By week three, I even felt even more depressed. The other weird thing is I was starting to feel a little bit more stressed and my energy was definitely low. I could even go work out. I didn't feel motivated or had the energy to go work out. I knew this was becoming a problem because it's important for my health. And I'm like, if this is the only thing that I'm taking and I'm starting to have these issues, wasn't a good sign for me. It came to the point that I wanted to stop taking ashwagandha because certainly, you know, there's lots of benefits that I read about it. There's lots of research on ashwagandha where it does help with your mood, your stress, anxiety, and even some benefits when it comes to ADHD, but I certainly was not getting it. And by week three, I was just like, you know what? I should maybe stop this. I decided to push through and by week four, it was prevalent that I just could not keep on doing this, but I did finish the 30 days and I came to realize that something like ashwagandha, yes, if you have high cortisol levels, it will help lower those cortisol levels. But someone like me that already has low cortisol to begin with, certainly something like this is maybe not the best thing to be taking. So here's what I did instead. So if we go back to my cortisol levels, you can see that there is a couple points where I need to make improvements for my cortisol. That is, for example, very first thing in the morning and kind of in the early evening where I need to make that impact. So what I needed to do instead was increase my cortisol levels, not necessarily lower my cortisol levels. So I decided after I was done with the 30 days, I switched to taking something different and this is exactly what I decided to take. Instead, I decided to take something like adrenal desiccated. So adrenal desiccated has been is an actual type of supplement that increases our cortisol levels. And so what I did is I took about three to four of these guys very first thing in the morning because I'm not a morning person. I knew I of course our levels were going to probably be low before I even took the lab test because of how groggy I always feel in the morning. And then I took about another two about late afternoon just so I wouldn't be so hitting that mid afternoon crash as well as that early evening time where you saw in my graph where it was low. And let me tell you, by just one week, it was like a night and day difference, like completely night and day. My energy was better, my focus was better, but also even my stress levels were fine. I didn't feel depressed anymore because I was taking the right thing. And this is why I tell all my patients and clients of why it is so important to test to actually see if you even need to be taking a supplement. So I urge you, if you are thinking about taking an ashwagandha and it hasn't been working for you, there's chances that your cortisol levels are low. 
because ashwagandha does help lower those cortisol levels. Now, I'm not here to bash ashwagandha. I think ashwagandha is really beneficial. In fact, I have used it with patients and clients where their cortisol levels were skyrocket high because they were on edge. They felt very agitated, irritated, and stressed all the time. And their ADHD, it impacted their ADHD so much that they couldn't focus even more because of it. And then when we added ashwagandha, guess what? They were more relaxed, they were able to focus more, but also it impacted their sleep. Because if you have high cortisol levels at night and you take something like ashwagandha, that is going to help you calm down. And it's going to help you give you better quality of sleep. So I'm not here to say that ashwagandha works. It, it certainly does. I've seen it impact, but for me, it certainly does. And this is why I wanted to show you this experiment of me doing some testing before, checking my cortisol levels. But I want to see, okay, to disprove or prove that the testing was accurate for me. And certainly it was. By doing something like that, ashwagandha was not the best option. But switching to something like adrenal desiccated made all the difference because I need to increase my cortisol levels. So really my final thoughts when taking ashwagandha for 30 days, it certainly wasn't for me, but for other patients and clients that I've given it to where it makes sense, where the cortisol levels were too high, it does make a difference, especially within that 30 days. But for me, it didn't. And But taking something like adrenal desiccated can make all the difference. So you got to be careful with that. But if you really want to know like the testing that you need to be using for ADHD, or if you have trouble with focus and attention, you should watch this video right here where I go in detail about the testing that you should be testing that your doctor is not testing for you. So watch this video right now.